I'm going to kick things over to Mariana to talk to you all a little bit about why essays are so important in the Cornell applications process. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for passing that off. So if it has not already been evident to you, essays are incredibly important. I would argue that Cornell views their school-specific essays is more important perhaps than in other application processes. So you really want to focus on tailoring that. And to give you some statistics, it's they're saying it's 25 to 35% of the admissions decision itself is based on the value of that essay. So you really want to put your best foot forward there. Now just to move on. Thanks for preparing for that side. Yeah. So a few things that Cornell is looking for in its essays is a, what is your actual contribution to Cornell as a campus in its whole? Second, what are your personal characteristics that will contribute? Third, what is your why Cornell? How authentic is it? And fourth, what is your why major or why school? So those are the four things that you really want to keep in mind when writing these essays. So that's definitely something to consider. And I'll pass it back off to you, Vinay. Yeah, absolutely. And so to the point that Mariana just made there about essays being 25 to 35% of the admissions decision. One thing that's really, really worth thinking about is to what extent, like where that 25 to 35% sits. Because at a school like Cornell, it's not just that essays are a third of the admissions decision, it's that they're often the last third. Essays are really that almost like that tiebreaker factor that you see between applicants because Cornell oftentimes will have four or five applicants for every slot in its class who are qualified on paper with academics, with tests, with ECs. And so for Cornell, the essay is really their decision of who do we want on our campus? The, your, your academics, your test scores, your ECs, your recommendations, those are all more assessing things like your qualifications, right? Are you qualified to be at Cornell? Are you someone who's going to be able to handle the academic and overarching rigor of being a Cornell student? The essays are actually how they decide, do we, you're qualified, but do we want you here, right? So your job with those essays is really to make Cornell's admissions officers actively choose you over other applicants. And that's where these factors really become super, super important. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that there is a very human element to how that decision is being made, right? It's not just a computer reading your application and assessing your application. It's an admissions officer. That's a human being. And so their personal circumstances are going to affect how they read your essay. Different admissions officers are going to have different levels of context and experience. And Things like their religion, their politics, their alignment with Cornell's missions and culture, and even the other applicants affect their reading. And at Cornell, because of how the school is organized and how the admissions process is organized, that sort of personal connection to not just Cornell as a whole, but the specific undergraduate college or school that you're applying into is really important. And that human factor is a tricky one because even something like their state of mind or their emotions the moment that they're reading your essay are going to affect things. If they've just had a particularly bad day or something bad has happened in the world, or they've had a great day, that's going to change how they read your essay, depending on what your topic is. So there is always an element of luck that kind of comes into play when you're applying to a school like Cornell. Great. So just a little bit more into tailoring your essays to Cornell. The thing that some people think about when they're applying to a school, let's just say you're looking at other applicants, how will I look against these other applicants? And that competitive mindset isn't always great, but the thing about Cornell is you aren't necessarily being compared to other students across any of the schools. A specific set of admissions officers will be looking at you, but only at the people within the school that you're applying to. So essentially, I will be evaluated if I applied to ILR, which is actually for industrial and labor relations, which is the school I'm in only those admissions officers will look at my application. So you have to imagine they're getting thousands of applications within the specific school. So you wanna make sure that if there's that brick wall between each of the schools, you really focus on targeting it to that school. So that's really what you wanna focus on, not just how can I show Cornell that I'm interested in Cornell, but how can I show the School of Industrial and Labor Relations that I'm interested in and I have knowledge on that. So that's definitely something to take into consideration as well. And then the other thing to consider is that we wanna think about the Cornell essays as how they will look like as your overall profile. When you're writing your Common App essay, about your major responding to the different prompts, you want to make sure that everything 
fits together as a story. You want to try to avoid that repetition and try to give yourself and admissions officers the best holistic understanding of who you are. So you want to think about not only the essay, but how it fits in with the other pieces of your application.